This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 3rd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we covered the X-Class Solar Flare during our live space weather update yesterday evening. And now we have an update coming from NOAA, and I thought I would let you all know what they have to say. An X-Class Solar Flare and an Earthbound CME. New Sunspot AR 3663 erupted this morning, May 3rd at 222 UTC time, producing an X 1.6 class solar flare. NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory captured the extreme ultraviolet flash. Radiation from the flare ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere and caused a deep shortwave radio blackout over Australia, Japan, and much of China. Ham radio operators may have noticed loss of signal below 30 MHz for a half hour after the flare's peak. Shortly after the solar flare, the U.S. Air Force reported a Type 2 solar radio burst, a type of natural radio signal emitted by shocked gas at the leading edge of a coronal mass ejection. Drift rates with the burst suggest a launch speed of around 960 kilometers per second, or about 3.6 million miles per hour. Soho chronograph images have since confirmed the existence of a coronal mass ejection. The bulk of the cloud will pass north of Earth, with its southern flank delivering a glancing blow late on May 5th. G1 to G2 class geomagnetic storms are expected when the CME arrives. Yes, you understood that correctly. We have an Earth-directed coronal mass ejection has been confirmed and was created by this X-class solar flare. Today's X-class solar flare did indeed produce a coronal mass ejection and has an Earth-directed component. A NASA model suggests southern flank of the CME will arrive on May 5th around 1800 UTC time. The impact should cause a G1 to G2 class geomagnetic storm on May 5th and May 6th. I wanted to quickly show you the two sunspots that have been giving us the most trouble. AR3663 up here, which did produce the X class solar flare, and AR3664 down here. Now, this was taken earlier this morning, so these have moved even more earth facing. Now, with that said, if NASA has modeled this correctly, you may see a faint coronal mass ejection headed towards Earth here for an impact on the 5th and 6th. You can see it move out here. It's much easier on the center model to see. And again, a glancing blow by the southern part of this coronal mass ejection is expected to impact Earth on May 5th and May 6th, whereas we already had impacts set up for May 4th and 5th as well, and we also had two very strong M2.7 solar flares just before the X flare, leading me to believe that there's possibly going to be a cannibal chrome mass ejection created. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world.